oh my God, so many things have changed. But when you live as long as I have lived, how can you not experience change? Uh, I'm disturbed by the fact that kosher is not as important as it used to be. I can't begin to imagine how many kosher caterers we had that we don't have any more. Uh, kosher is not that important, unfortunately. To many people it is, thankfully, to many people it is. But generally, the kosher catering halls uh, are gone. Uh, that bothers me, but it's evolution. Let's face it, it's evolution. It's a different world. In the old days, if you lived in a Jewish neighborhood, you lived in a Jewish neighborhood. Uh, if a son or daughter got married, they moved to that neighborhood. Uh, children that went to, went to college, if you lived in Philadelphia, you went to Temple University. You didn't go to the University of Michigan, uh, uh, you know, uh, you stayed in your area. As a result, we had that that feel of being close. That's all disappeared. And now if you talk to someone and you say, uh, how many children do you have? Oh, I have three. Oh, where do they live? Well, one lives in California, one lives in Boston, one lives in Florida. The families are separated. Uh, is that good? It's a, it's a sign of prosperity. Uh, prosperity, people are doing better. You know, that's the good part. But with every advantage, there's a disadvantage. We've lost that closeness. Our cell phones, television, we've lost the art of conversation, of sitting outside on a summer night with the neighbors. We don't even know our neighbors anymore. That part is unfortunate. 